Hi, this is Kevin McCarthy and welcome to A Day in Real Estate. Today I'm going to touch on what to do with your current house if you're looking to buy another one. But before we get started, just I just want to draw your attention to two links on my blog. If you're possibly looking to sell, click here. If you're looking to find a home in an area, click here. So there's really two main options on what you can do with your current property if you're planning on buying another property. The first, the most obvious one, is you could sell that current property that you're living in. But another option that people have been considering it more recently to build wealth is keeping your current property as an investment property, which can be a great idea. If you would like to keep your current property as an investment property, there are some things that you need to know. First, you gotta really get a good mortgage lender to help you out with this process. There's ones that are very good at working with people through this process, and I can make some recommendations if you need to talk with someone. The second factor that you really need to consider is, do you need the money from your current house in order to make a down payment on the new house. You can do this without selling the current residence. You can get a HELOC, which is a home equity line of credit. You can pull the money out of your property and if you put it in the bank and you let it season for four to six months, you'll be able to use that money for down payment without selling the current property. The third factor that you need to consider as well is your debt to income. Do you need to offset the debt to income ratio with a current tenant in the property? This can be accomplished by getting a tenant in place ahead of time with a lease deposit and the first month's rent and a really good lender in order to pull it off so that you can move to your new home and start collecting cash flow on your new investment. Again, I'm Kevin McCarthy and thank you for watching my video blog, A Day in Real Estate. If you would like some advice on turning your current property into an investment property and moving on to a bigger one, please feel free to reach out to me. I've got lots of resources and I've gone through this process several times.